Hi, and welcome to this video on UiPath with me, Yebe. In this one, we're going to take a look at a function that a lot of people don't know about. It's called Picture in Picture, and it's really, really cool. So let's get to it. Okay, this time we're starting inside Studio, and we're taking a look at the Picture in Picture function because I really think it's cool. It's been an experimental feature for quite a while in UiPath Studio, but now they finally released it. And uh, I think it's something that most people can really make use of. And once you see it, you'll think, hey, that's that's kind of cool. And then it gets better. And then you think, oh, this is, this is really cool. Then it gets better. So I like this function a lot. So let's, uh, let's start taking a look at it. So I have built a very simple uh, process here. What it does is it starts uh, the Windows calculator. And then it simply adds the numbers one and two. And then it does it again. If I can just expand this and then it does it again. So this is just a simple process to show us that calculator is working. And if I start it, then we can see the calculator starts up and it starts adding these numbers and we can kind of see that something is happening on the screen and we'll just let it finish. It should be done in a second. There we go. So while this was working, we really couldn't touch our mouse or use our computer because the automation execution was happening inside the same Windows session that we have our studio and maybe other applications running in. So while this is running in debug mode, and we all know how slow that can be, we really can't use our computer. So when developing, this is a really handy function to have. So if I enable it simply by clicking this picture in picture button inside the debug menu, and then run the automation again, we'll see that it actually starts up a new Windows session. And what it does is actually it, it creates a remote desktop session into the same computer that we're on. And inside of that, it will run the calculator. And while that's running, I can take my window here and I could, you know, start using all kinds of applications. And at the same time in the background, this automation is running inside this window. And we're able to take control of this window if we want, so we could move the calculator around or we could uh, you know uh, interact with the automation if we needed to and we can choose to keep the window on top so even if i change the focus to the studio for example then this thing is still on top and i could resize the window and it'll simply scale so we can keep an eye on it while it's running so that's actually quite nice what you can do with this is if you build an automation like the one i just built and you deploy it and I'll just disable the keep on top and disable the take control. In fact, I'll close the window altogether. If I take this automation and deploy it, I'll publish it. And I'll uh, publish it to my, uh, my orchestrator. And if I go to my orchestrator, I go to my packages. I can see that a few seconds ago, the picture and picture package was deployed to this orchestrator. So I go into my default folder, into my automations. And I'll create a new automation using this picture and picture package. And I'll click Create. And if I go to my UiPath Assistant on my machine, we should see, there we go, a new picture and picture automation pop up. And what we can do with this is we can run this as we normally would. And it will simply run inside of calculator as we expect. And that's all nice, but again, we are sort of prevented or we really can't use our computer while this is going on. I just closed calculator. I forgot to do that in the automation itself. But what I can do here is then I can click the ellipsis here. Then we can tell it to start as a picture in picture automation. And what that does is it gives us this prompt that this process was not tested for using blah, blah, blah. Are you sure you want to start it? Yes, I'm sure. And this will start the window session with the new automation inside of it. And again, we can use the main session of our computer to, to do other work while this automation is running. So this is a way to build attended robots that doesn't prevent the user from doing other work while the robot is running. I've seen automations that were maybe uploading files to a server and they were large files and they could take a half an hour per file, maybe. So, so a user would literally be stuck at his computer for hours on end without being able to use it just because he had an attended robot running. That's not the case if you use it picture in picture. So that's where this stuff got cool. Now you saw the warning. Are you sure you want to run it? It hasn't been tested and all of that. 
Let me close the window and go back into Studio. And in the project settings up here, we can say that this automation is picture in picture ready. And this is just an indication from us saying we have tested it. It's cool to run this as a picture in picture session. We can also say that by default, it will start as a picture in picture automation. So if I uh, say OK to these options, then we'll actually publish a new version of it, 102. And I'll just click the publish version, uh, publish button, and it published OK. I go back into Orchestrator. I go to my tenant, into my packages, and view the versions. We can see that we now have a 102. And if we then go into our default folder into the automations, we can also see that this uh, has a new version available. We'll upgrade it to the latest one. So now we're running 1.0. Two, we'll minimize, go back into our assistant, and we'll install this new version. And if we run this now, it should by default start in the picture in picture session, which is really nice. So you can, as a developer, say that when you distribute this automation, it's actually going to run as a picture in picture automation. And, and I think that's really powerful. You can do a lot of cool stuff with that. So there's one more thing I want to show you. And that makes this extremely cool because while it's nice to have something run inside of this window, you know, and, and maybe you minimize uh, or resize the window to be really small. Uh, maybe you uh, don't have this keep on top uh, option uh, enabled. So while you're working in whatever tool you're working in, you can't really see what's going on with the automation. Well, what you can do uh, inside Visual Studio is actually have this window session inside of our picture and picture have that communicate with the main window session so if i go back into studio and i have built another process here and we'll just insert that somewhere right here in the beginning of our, our thing and if i open this workflow all this does is it will ask you to enter another number and that number will then be returned to where it was called from so i'll import the arguments and I will save the number that I get back from the other process into this variable called the next number. So what do we want to do with that number? Well, I could, you know, create a dynamic selector that would then add this number to whatever number I was adding in calculator. Instead, I'll just keep it simple and I'll just show a message box with this number in it. All right. So if I ran this now, this process that we invoke here would simply be invoked inside of the picture in picture window. But what we can do on the invoke process is there's a couple of options that we can set. Uh, and we can set this target session property to either be the current session, so meaning that if this is running as a picture in picture automation, then it will show or run this other process inside the picture in picture. Or if it's running in the main window session, it will run in the main window session. But we can also switch between sessions. So if we're running this inside a picture in picture session, then we can say that this process called another process should be run in the main window session. And that means that we are now going to show a pop-up dialog or an input dialog in the main window while the rest of the process is running inside of the picture in picture and then return the value into the picture in picture and then use that value inside of the rest of the automation. And now before I run this, I need to set one more property. That's this isolated property. We need to set that to to true and that simply indicates that this is going to run in a separate session than the main session. So you use this isolated property whenever you invoke a process in a different target session than the current one. So I will um, run it and we can see that the calculator should start up inside of the picture and picture and then out here in the main window we get this input box that is not part of of sort of the picture in picture session. And I can enter a number 42. And when I click OK, we should get a dialog box. I'll just resize this so we can see what's going on. We should get a, a, a pop up a message box inside of the picture in picture session. And indeed we do. So I'll just stop it. This was just a really quick look at the picture in picture function. It is really powerful and it can really free up some time if you're running a lot of attended automations. It can free up a lot of time when you're doing development. So uh, have a look at it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.